Hey guys and welcome to another video with me, Alor Fink, and today we have a minimalist, minimal wallpaper tutorial, whatever you want to call it, and I really like this one, and I don't know what other kinds of wallpaper I'll put, so I just made one, so I really like this one, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so you're gonna go file, new, and open a new canvas, and the size of your canvas will be the size of your screen resolution, in my case it's 1366 by 768 and it doesn't matter if it's white or transparent so I'm just gonna get my paint bucket tool and fill the background with an off-white color and the color scheme is completely up to you and I'm just gonna use with whites and light grays in this kind of wallpaper but it's completely up to you again so I'm just just fill it an off-white color and then you're gonna get your custom shapes tool and find the triangle right over here and it doesn't matter if it's a perfect triangle or not because we're gonna distort it I'm just gonna change the color so you can see what's going on and it's a light gray color and you're gonna go Control t to transform the triangle go right click and distort and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the three corners of the triangle and put it into the three corners of your wallpaper that's basically what I'm doing right here and it divides your canvas into two triangular sections like sandwich so I'm really hungry right now <laughs> okay so next you're gonna get your rectangular your rectangle tool and hold down shift to make sure that it's a perfect square and we're gonna align it to the center so that we can make sure it bothers me if it's not aligned to the center so basically a lot of you have been asking how to do this so I'm just gonna change the color so you can see what's happening so you're gonna select the square and the background and then you're gonna select these and it basically aligns it to the center to the right or to the left and now it's aligned to the center so now you're gonna go Control j to duplicate the layers to duplicate the shape and basically i'm just dragging it to the left and you can also alt and drag the shape to duplicate it and create a new copy that's it does the same thing it's just a different Two different methods does the same thing so i'm just gonna change the color of the squares into from dark to light so basically dark gray to a lighter gray you can't really tell but we're gonna get a png and i didn't cut one out you can cut out your own png it's completely up to you i'm just gonna put it in the middle section so you're gonna select your shapes again you go right click and rasterize layers because you couldn't select it if it's a smart object so you're gonna get your magic wand tool go Control shift i get your rectangular marquee tool select this one make sure to basically negate the area that you selected so you're left with the top part of her body if that makes any sense so you're just gonna go, go Control x and cut it out and that's basically it you're gonna add your own text and i just add little bird because i remember somebody called sansa a little bird i think it's the hound if you watch game of thrones please do comment down below i'm not sure who said that but it's stuck in my brain so and also i don't know what else to put here and the font that i used is orator std I think yes it's orator SCD and for the watermark I just lowered the opacity and put it underneath her hand so yeah that's basically it I didn't add a PSD because I already like the color scheme of it but if you need a PSD to tie in everything together you can completely do that and this is what it looks like so you can get it on my Devent Art Gallery for free it will be linked in the description box so yeah that's basically it thank you guys for watching and be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video and subscribe for more videos because i try to upload weekly but college is killing me so